this truck set up. Waterproof uh, fuse there underneath the hood. Cables run underneath and come up through the floor to our Victron Phoenix 800 VA 650 watt pure sign inverter. This is programmed to turn on um, with any voltage above 13.8 and turn off with any voltage below 12.8 volts. So currently you can see I've got my meter plugged into it or we've got 488 watts coming through the, uh, the meter. This uh, extension cord runs runs along here and underneath the flatbed back to that plug which comes through there and we've got a plug that comes down from the camper and plugs in and that runs inside comes up back here along the uh, wire channel and comes out here plugs into the blue eddy t500 uh, wall adapter which plugs into the B300 battery. The B300 battery is then plugged into the AC300 inverter unit and that is currently running uh, AC and DC. The DC comes off of this 30 amp, uh, 30 amp DC 12 volt outlet to a XD60 and over to a Blue C 6 port fuse panel. That is currently just powering the diesel heater, uh, which is running. And then uh, to give the AC a load right now, just for testing, I've got my dish heater set up. So we're currently pulling over a thousand watts of AC and just 20 watts of DC. Um, and our charger is bringing in about 600 watts from the truck running. So we basically have accomplished DC to DC charging um, with, the, with the Blue Eddy system. Um, this Blue Eddy system also has a, uh, an AC plug um, that goes to the inverter and that goes through a transfer switch um, and has a larger charger and uh, and so if you wanted to hook up shore power to a full 15 amp or even 30 amp circuit, if you had the right cable, um, you could do that. For the case of the DC to DC charging, um, um, the, the charger inside here um, cannot be turned down enough um, to, to, to do the DC to DC charging that we need through the small inverter. So that's why we're using this uh, 500 watt adapter to charge the battery. Um, so we only have 500 watts going in right now, but we can use, you know, over 500 watts. We've got a thousand plus watts going out, and we're not we're not overloading our our uh, our inverter that we're using for our DC to DC charging. So uh, kind of an interesting roundabout way to do things, but it works very well.